How to stay fit during hot chilly and humid climates. Seasons are a blessing to civilization. We move through the world and experience tropical hot summer, to bone chilling winters or the fall of autumn breeze and leaves. It seems very beautiful. Some countries have super hot sun or extreme torrential rains that leave them drenched and full of greenery. If you people are living in a country that is hot and humid, then here's how you can beat those scorching summer rays. Asterisk moderate caffeine consumption. Youngsters love coffee. It's a personal statement as I am a huge fan of black coffee. It helps me tick during long working hours. But excess to everything is bad. Consumption of any good thing should also be limited. Caffeine is a source of natural energy booster, and it works wonders when you are planning for a marathon or workout. However, too much caffeine leads to constipation, anxiety and dehydration. You can consume one or two cups, but drink plenty of water after that. That will balance your digestion. Asterisk clothes kill calories? Black kills fat. Sweating is the main goal during workout and myths are black attire oozes more perspiration as it absorbs the sun rays. It is a diplomatic statement, and you can try if you want. I have seen most gym lovers wearing all black to kill the fat. If you are working outdoors, then wear a light-colored sweatshirt or thin-clothed t-shirt. If you are running on the seashore, you can put on a white color cardigan if it's winter or wear something breathable. Any color is good. I prefer blue or white. It all depends on their workout techniques. Asterisk drink water. Water is a mortal combat on your fat. Believe it or not, but consuming 8 to 10 glasses of lukewarm or normal filtered water can help you stay fit and increase your longevity. You should drink at least 500 milliliters of water one hour before workout, and 600 to 700 milliliters as soon as you finish your cooldown session. In between, if you feel thirsty drink one glass but at a slow pace. Asterisk keep a gap. Online gym trainers show you a routine of 3 or 5 minutes of intense fat burn workout. At least 8 to 10 exercises are shown to melt that stubborn fat in a fast-paced way. It is good for us although you be alert on your body type and stamina. Being healthy would show more results of your workout efforts and not pushing yourself. So if you are working out in the gym, then take a break of 25 to 30 seconds before you begin your next equipment. If you are doing the V-bike on a heavy level, take a break of 30 seconds before you start the elliptical or treadmill. It would relax your muscles and breathing. Don't be in a hurry to finish off and thinking of a thin waist. It doesn't happen in one day. Fact is when you warm up for 15 minutes, your carbs would start to burn. Then when the real workout starts your calories start to burn. Do it for 45 to 50 minutes and 2 months later you would feel the difference. Exercise is a celebration of your healthy body. It is a welcome change that can transform your entire life. Don't be lazy now and stand up to improve yourself.